So here is my Insta account. So you can click that follow button. You can contact me at any time for any kind of technological queries. I am ready to help you. On the other end, like for web designing or any other courses or internships, if you want to contact us, yes, I am ready to help you. Here is the contact number to contact us. Welcome to Wikitik and Kashin for Today I am going to talk about the cyber security series, the last video on cyber security interview questions. Okay, so like if you want to learn about the basics of cyber security and everything, you got my previous video, just go and check it out in my channel. Okay. Now I'm going to talk about the cyber security entry questions. I've written a lot of articles on cyber security. We are going to talk about those things in my website. Let's move on. So it's my website. Just go to interview here. So I'm clicking the interview like uh, probably I'll go to my uh, cyber security area. So over here, this is my cyber security area. So it's trying to load. So it is getting loaded. Just hold on a minute. Yeah, it is getting loaded. So like, yes, uh, yes, I got my cyber security here. I'm clicking this one. Like uh, you are able to see the cyber security questions here. So like uh, the first question is like, what are the common types of cyber security attacks? Okay, so cyber security attacks in the sense, uh, there are three areas of attacks will happen. So we talk about the hackers, they will attack in the client side, they will attack in the server side, or they will attack in the database side. Client side in the sense like, um, like uh, once the user is there and he's trying to access his gmail.com, they will try to access his passwords. So that is the client side attack. And over here, the server side attack is live. Okay, they will try to inject a script in the server area. They will try to inject the scripts in the server. That is a server side. And fetching the data from the databases, accessing some information from the tables, from the databases, that is your database. So you got the client side, you got the server side, and you got the, like, um, it may be in the database area. Over here, you are able to see malware. Some malware is a virus, it is injected into the website. And it can be a cross-site scripting, injecting a script in the client side or the server side. Denial of service attack. So the service is provided by the server, attacking the server and restricting them to provide a service. Denial of service attack. Domain name system attack. Putting the website name, it is written to some other website, man. Such kind of attacks can be done. Man in the middle. A person in the middle grabbing the information, change it, fabricate and sending to the destination. And getting this information, fabricated, taking it here. So hacking someone's data or fabricating or representing such like a, like a genuine person. So such kind of attacks can be done by this done man the middle. SQL injection attack, attacking the databases, checking the weakness of the database and attacking it. Phishing, creating a fake website, session hijacking. Instead of a token, session is nothing but the token between the user and the server. Hijacking the token, I can get the information brute force attack randomly generating password and attacking it that's how the attacks will be okay this is how the common types of attacks let's move on to difference between the vulnerability assessment and penetration testing <laughs> testing your website or an application okay to check out what are the possibility of vulnerabilities available and fixing it as giving a suggestion that is called as penetration testing and Assessing the possibility of vulnerability available that is called as vulnerability assessment. So penetration vulnerability assessment is part of penetration testing. Okay, yes. Let's move on to the next question. What do you mean by honey pots? Sir, my server is there, sir. The server is getting attacked. Replicate the server, a duplicate server kind of. So using this kind of server. The user, the attacker will be attacking this kind of server, the duplicate server. This will understand the type of attack and may train the server so that the actual attacker, if, the, if he attacks, it won't work. So Honeypot server is a kind of a yeah, mock server which will have the capability of training itself for the attacks and training the servers. Okay, identifying the vulnerabilities and everything. That is called as Honeypot server. And the next one, we are going to talk about the botnet. Botnet is a very powerful attack. Using botnet, what you will do is like, um, I got a website. Using this, I got the website. I want to grab all the information from the website. I create a botnet program. 
this botnet program will try to read all the website artificially grabbing the information so stealing the data sending spams and everything can be done with this botnet automatic program to do something what are the benefits of cyber security benefits of cyber security in the sense very simple people obviously securing your system securing your networks and in, like ensuring your data is not gone so everything maintaining the regulatory compliances end users and endpoint like devices everything comes into the benefits of cyber security we talk about cyber security the one thing you should learn is securing the system can be done by two people the one is the ethical hacker the other one is cyber security people so ethical hacker will be like an inofficial employee he says he is not a, a formal employee taking care of securing the system and he'll be getting recognition and cyber security is an official employee getting recognition okay so official employee is an inofficial employee both will take care of securing the system that is the benefits of cyber security what is a firewall sir firewall is a kind of a program okay that will restrict the inflow and outflow of packets in the internet world in the networks Sir, I got a Wi-Fi campus in my college. Sir, my Facebook is not working. My like a YouTube is not working because it is restricted. The firewall program is used to restrict a particular website. That is called as firewall. Let's move on to yeah. This is the firewall. What is a firewall? Yeah. So you got the definitions and everything here. So please check it out. Now let's move on to what is the difference between the third vulnerability and the risk. Threat is nothing but both three are little bit same. So threat is nothing but it is a huge like a problem for the system. So huge problem for the system. Okay, threat is like an, an official huge problem for the system. Vulnerability is a lesser impact than the threat, but the possibility of threat can be done via this vulnerability. And here is the risk. So if if we are taking this risk. this threat via the vulnerability it will attack it okay so this is how so risk in the sense like we know we know there is a problem and i understand and i am accepting for that one that is termed as risk this is how your difference between the very important integration so threat vulnerability and risk let's talk about the cia triad what is cia sir so every cyber security specialist must ensure their application is a cia based one what is a cia sir confidentiality the data which is there should not go out integrity the data which is available cannot be changed by anyone and availability it is available for like forever to the people so this is how your cia will be and over here we got what is your ids and ips intrusion detection system okay a cyber security specialist should be specialized in identifying if there is a intrusion you need to detect it you need the tools and you need the program to detect it and intrusion prevention system when the intrusion is happening i need to prevent it so that is how the intrusion detection and intrusion prevention system works so ids and ips and the final one is like symmetric and asymmetric encryption if i got the data and someone should not recognize it in that case i will be encrypting it so a plain data to a cipher text and cipher text to the plain text that is called decryption the encryption and decryption is happening okay over sure okay so like if the if i need a key to encrypt this data to this format and the, if the key is same key is used in both end that is called symmetric encryption if i'm using one key over here and there is another key over here it is called as asymmetric encryption algorithms okay this is how your questions are and we got lot of questions to go on just click it here and you can learn lots of questions are given here just learn it and uh, get an idea and clear it into you and if you got any questions just post it in the comments i'm ready to help you for that thank you